so the next interview question that we are going to talk about is explain how would you handle missing or null values in sql queries okay uh, before i start the explanation uh, we would be focusing only on the sql part uh, so first of all we need to identify the missing values how do we identify the missing values select star from orders where order amount is the column let's say which has got null value so how would i find them select star from orders where order underscore amount is null so this is null keyword will help us to find the null values in the table so i'll run this and we can see that there are total three null values within this particular table within this orders table okay uh, we can also make use of the not null keyword using which we will get the values wherein there would not be any null value okay uh, so this is the way we can identify the rows which has got null values now uh, now in order to handle these null values uh, the first thing that i that i can do is i can provide default values okay default values using the coalesce function how to exactly do that we will see For, i will uh, start with select order underscore id comma uh, the next column is customer underscore id that is the next column that we want third column uh, for the third column we will be making use of the coalesce function so coalesce function and within this function we would be mentioning order underscore amount comma uh, let's just say that i want to provide 10 as a default value so i'll put 10 then again comma the last column that we have is order underscore date so i'll mention order underscore date from which column we are uh, fetching this data so we are fetching this data from the orders table okay so i have mentioned from orders so if i run this query let's see what exactly happened and the moment i run this and if i scroll down to the bottom i can see the null values are replaced with 10 if you are still not clear i will show you again if you see earlier we had these three null values which has got order id as 16 43 63 now after i run this select query see what what we see we, we would be replacing these null values with 10 so i'll show you how so if i run this query and if you see now 16 43 63 the values are replaced with 10 so it is reflecting as coalesce so it looks bad so i will just mention this as uh, let's say as amount column so let's say that this new column is amount column and now if you run this the, this will look a little better um yeah as we can see we have got amount as a column so this is one way but let's just say that you do not want to replace missing values with a default value rather you want to uh, replace with the uh, average then what we will do instead of this 10 we will be mentioning average so how do we write the average very simple we would be making use of this simple command select average avg is the average function uh, from which column order amount so order amount is the column that we have right so originally the table is got order amount as this column so we would be finding the average of this average amount column from which table from orders tables uh, so if i run this query now uh, let's just see what happens so the moment i run this query i am getting this as an output now so we have got the output but it looks very bad because uh, there should be maximum two digits after the decimal point that means i will have to make use of the round function in order to remove in order to have the two digits after the decimal okay so for that i'll be wrapping this function within the round function and uh, something like this round and then at the end i'll just put comma and then two and close this bracket now if i run this because i've got uh, i've used the round function in order to make this better so that we will have maximum two digits after the decimal so i'll run this and let's just see if this works and now we can see that this is work because 5.99 5.99 is the output that we have got okay so this is one way of doing the things so as i said that you can put the default values second thing that you can do is you can make use of the average function just like we did now that is uh, mean and average again one and the same thing you can also use the median and mode for the given data set so mean as we already know that we will sum up all the values and then divide it by the total count of the numbers a median what happens in the median is let's just say that there are total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 so what is the middle value middle value is 5 so it will consider 5 as the median 
this is media i'm, I'm purposely i'm trying to explain these things so, so that you know when to use mean median or mode uh, what happens in mode is that we will be checking the total number of value that is repeated maximum time so we can see that 5 is repeated maximum time so we will be saying that mode is 5 okay so depending upon your requirement you can identify the missing values and then you can either put the default value like we put 10 in this example or you can use any of the value from the mean median or mode depending on your data specific requirement okay so that's how we handle the missing or the blank values in sql i hope this will help you please ensure that you practice this thank you so much